First, first, Apple is halting Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 sale That's in a the lawsuit US thing. this week. It is a lawsuit thing, but it's like a lot bigger of a deal in a lot of ways. So I read the headline and I, I kind of knew that there was some background lawsuit stuff brewing, but I didn't know it would actually get to the point where Apple would have to stop selling it in order to resolve this. Can yeah. you explain what happened and how it got to this point? Yeah, okay, so a little bit of history. Um, long time ago, Apple reached out to this medical tech company called Massimo, and it wanted to collaborate with them about using their blood oxygen sensors, potentially in the Apple Watch, down the line. Um, but pretty soon after they had that initial call where they were like, yeah, we would love to like collaborate on your technology and it would be great, Apple started hiring all of their employees. They ended up hiring 30 of their employees, including their lead chief medical officer, and they offered, They were like, we'll double your salary and give you millions of dollars in Apple shares. So, you know. So, yeah. Hard bargain. <laughs> yeah. yes. Hard bargain. Um, and then in 2019, Apple published patents for blood oxygen sensors in their watches under the name of one of the former employees, mm-hmm. which is a bad look. Yeah. Yeah. And it then, just seems so obvious. <laughs> yeah, it seems, it seems pretty obvious. Good trail. And then launched uh, the blo- blood oxygen sensor in the Apple Watch Series 6, which had the feature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In 2020, Massimo was like, this is a problem. Uh, so they sued Apple in federal district court for gaining ass- access to proprietary information by hiring those employees. Mm. And that lawsuit was taking way too long and it was not going anywhere and just kind of stalling in court. So in 2021, they filed a patent with uh, the international, not a patent, they filed a complaint with the International Trade Commission that tried to get, trying to get Apple to stop being able to sell the product, basically. That's how you go through if you're like, we need you to stop being able to import products and all of this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So Massimo actually won that in January of this year, but nobody really thought much of it because Apple gets sued all the time. I want an exact example locally here. At least one time, I think either Adam or Ellis brought it up. They were like at the end, we were done recording and we were like, is there anything else we want to talk about? It was me. It was you, right? And you were like, do we want to talk about Apple not being able to sell the Apple Watch because of this? And I like, you all explicitly laughed. remembered saying, yeah. I don't think we should cover it. I, I just agreed. don't. I said, I don't see <laughs> Apple like getting punished at all. I don't see anything coming of this. Apple is too big. And yeah. here I am eating my words. Here, we're talking about I mean, it they now. they get sued constantly. And there's always these headlines that just say, like, Apple might have to stop yeah. selling this if yeah. this company, you know, ABC. I think history was on my side in that assumption. But yeah. Ellis wanted to talk about this months yeah. ago. So I think the reason Ellis brought this up was because in October, the International Trade Commission issued an import ban on the Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2. Um, or, yeah, Ultra 2, right? Yep. The okay. newest Ultra, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was going to stop them from being able to import the watches into the country because their you know parts are made in all mm-hmm. the other countries and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there is a 60-day presidential review period on International Trade Commission bans that allows the president of the United States to veto something like this. Famously, this happened with Apple before with the iPhone 4 because Samsung sued Apple for using uh, a cellular radio technology that it had a patent for, but Obama decided that that technology that was being used in the iPhone 4 was an essential technology for basically all cellular radios and all smartphones. Hmm. So it wouldn't make sense to ban that part because then Samsung would be the only phone company Mm -hmm. in existence. Hmm. So they vetoed that. But this one is much less likely to get that veto yeah it's just the blood oxygen sensor technology right of one of the features and i mean the history kind of like talks for itself that they reached out to them to work with them and then immediately after talking to them just poached all yeah, the employees the paper trails and then the, yeah. filed the patent with the name of the employee that they poached yeah yeah <laughs> pretty so, straightforward <laughs> yeah so the the, the thing that's going to happen here at least as of recording <laughs> Wednesday, <laughs> December 20th, you never know if this does not change, is that Apple has to halt the sales of the Series 9 and the Ultra 2 in the U.S. Uh, after 3 p.m. Th- Thursday, December 21st, which as of recording is tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it will have to stop making inventory available in the stores after <laughs> December 24th. So it has to stop online sales first. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. So if you're trying to get a Christmas gift and you were thinking about getting someone an Apple Watch... 
it just became a way better gift. Did you say though that it well, is um it can be still sold in like a Best Buy or something yes. like that? So, Do they have to have inventory already or can now they buy up inventory? Well, theoretically, mm -hmm. they can still be they can still buy inventory from Apple except that Apple can't import more inventory after yeah. so December there's a, 24. There's a giant shipping container on its way here right now with <laughs> yeah. as many <laughs> Apple Watches possible. As possible. Yeah. yeah. Best Buy is yeah. buying as much stock <laughs> yeah. as they can afford. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, the order will ban imports of the devices after Christmas Day, which oh. Apple will be prohibited from selling to other app outlets okay. as well. Uh, it's a pretty big deal. I, I feel like people that get Apple gift cards for Christmas are going to be really disappointed. Mm. <laughs> uh, and apparently Apple has already started going to employees and, like, telling them about how this is working. And they're changing all the signage in their shops. So... They still have Apple Watch as signage, but it's just like the text and it shows the SE, but they're not like showing oh, the Ultra 2 in the Series 9. That's fascinating. Yeah. That is fascinating. I guess yeah. my like ultimate question here, I, I do, I saw something about how like Apple's trying to figure out ways around this and how yes. they can do it. Does, does everyone care about the blood oxygen that much that they can't just be like, screw it? No more blood That's oxygen. A good point. How often do you use that feature? Yeah, like, or how accurate is it even really? Yeah. So I, I remember when it got announced and it was pretty cool. And you remember the David Blaine Ascension project yeah. where that was around the same time the feature got announced. He was like, should I use a dedicated blood oxygen monitor or should I use my Apple Watch? And I was like, mm. dude, use, use the dedicated <laughs> <You're> 10,000 <laughs> feet in the air. <laughs> you through the back of your wrist. There's no way yeah. it's that good. Just use the thing you have. But it was pretty interesting that you could just check on it. And 99% of the time you check on it, it's going to be 90-something percent because you're just walking yeah. around. Yeah. But if you're hiking or you're doing some high-altitude workout or something like that, then it may be a little lower. And it'll be interesting to see roughly what it is. But I don't I don't know that this is a thing that is essential to the Apple Watch. Yeah. I don't think it would be a disaster if it yeah. disappeared. It's one of those things like I, I don't want to come out here and be like, hey, Apple, just take away something you promised a lot of people because that sucks. That always sucks in that scenario. And but, they'll probably get sued by people for that. Yeah, but if Apple were to theoretically just disable it on every single watch and continue yeah. to sale, I think the amount of people that would notice that is like Very few. extremely yeah. minimal. Fair. And yeah. It, yeah, it's kind of widely known that all of these sensors are not very accurate mm -hmm. on smartwatches. But what's important about these sensors is the trend data, right? Mm -hmm. If you have like a pretty stable VO2 max and then one day it drops significantly, that tells you something. And it doesn't yeah. matter whether it's like 5% accurate or not. Yeah, we had a really good episode with Dr. Mike kind of like going over that like these things are all fun. There might be a little bit to it if you track trends and stuff like that, but ultimately, like, think of it as like entertainment that is helping your health. And I would probably argue that blood oxygen level is one of the least important yeah. out of a lot of them. Unless the it series... plummets. <laughs> yeah, unless it plummets. The Series yeah. 6 launched like right around COVID, though. So a lot of people were using it to try to figure out if they had COVID or not. Yeah, we won't be able to tell you. <laughs> that? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we need around a worldwide influenza is. Yeah. A watch making us more or less panicked yeah. about things. <laughs> the trend thing they said is, oh, you just reminded me of the, the temperature sensor. There's like a body temperature sensor now, which is literally just measuring the surface temperature of the skin on the back of your wrist, which is like not yeah. useful How is that at all. Useful? <laughs> I'm not, nine times out of ten, it doesn't even tell you the temperature, but it does tell you when you're sleeping the trend. I do think, uh, though, that is more important for women's health based on... Ovulation cycle. I think it's obvious. I don't. I'm not 100 sure because I, I am yeah, a man what they, and I don't. But I do that's think what they that's added where the temperature sensor. Yeah, they for added it for, and they said there's a lot of benefits. That, that yeah. and sleep. But even so, they're not telling you the temperature. Mm, they're right. just telling you if it went up or down. Right. Which is because that's what's most important. Yeah, the trend so, data. The trend data. Yeah. So apparently, Apple is uh, rushing to issue a software update that basically like changes the algorithm on how it measures the blood oxygen in a way that they think the International Trade Commission will find, find different. different enough. Mm -hmm. um, but Massimo is sticking to their guns and says that it will, would require a hardware change. So it's going to be dependent on what the International Trade Commission mm -hmm. says. If it requires a hardware change, like especially because this is all health data, Apple needs to get all this stuff like approved and like do a, multiple rounds of testing. Yeah. So it's not going to be easy to just switch out a piece of hardware and then just start shipping them again. If they actually cannot start selling these, they're probably just going to nix the Ultra 2 and the Series 9 until the next generation. Do you know if they just Which would be disable crazy. functionality of the hardware, would they still not be able to sell it because the hardware is there? 
like if theoretically they did what I said and just said like there is no more of this, it's not even using that sensor. That I'm sensor is just sure. a spare part now. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure because I don't even think that that's something they could do without like updating your Apple Watch software. Which would like, they count that as a as a fix? A fix. I don't know. It's like people it's are probably supposed to do it. Depends on how the lawsuit mm. is written. Yeah, I, which yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that would be kind of like easy. It seems like if they're going to halt sales then it's not something that they can do. If they have to literally halt sales where all they if all they yeah. had to do was push us off If they just had to the air power the sensor, it and just never talk yeah. about it again. Yeah. Yes. Then I think they would do that immediately. But right. Exactly. I will say for Apple if this of this happening it is the best time for it to happen because they probably have all of their Q4 sales before Christmas already. So like this is stopping at Christmas which is Notably, the time where most people are like, "Okay, I spent enough. I'm gonna like chill for a couple." Oh, I months. feel like a lot of people are gonna get like Apple gift cards for Actually, Christmas. That's a good point. And New Year generally means people starting to take their health a little more seriously. Yeah. So Apple, oh, okay, gosh. maybe I'm wrong. Maybe was, I'm the exact opposite. Well, so Apple's wearables business made 13.48 billion dollars in the Q1 2023 holiday quarter. Uh, and that's going to get nixed pretty significantly if they start. Is this just yeah. Apple Watch Ultra 2 and Series 9? Yes. yes. So they could sell Series 8 and Ultra 1? They will currently the sell refurbished uh, Series 8s on their website, but they will not be able to sell those if this goes into effect. So it's all the way back and to they the beginning sell- of this sensor in Series 6? Yeah, but they don't sell Series 6 or Series 7 anymore. So they sell Series 8 and Series 9. They'll have yeah. to halt both of those. Yeah. And, and I assume the, the first and second Apple Watch Ultra have that. Blood oxygen. Sensor. Theoretically, but I don't think they sell them. Ultra Watch One? Yeah, I don't think no. they sell Ultra Ones. And the SE yeah. does not have it, right? The SE doesn't have it. So they it. can still sell the SE. Yeah, they can still sell the SE. Wow. So Can I ask a stupid question? Sure. It's probably not stupid. <laughs> I think it is. Um <laughs> we just said wearables. Is that only watches or are like AirPods I'm included not in that? Totally because sure. I don't the when I, th- I guess I'm thinking too much accessories and like a wearable is a smart device acting as something that was previously something oh, you, you wear. In the money like thing? in the like when it says like Apple's wearables include this much in sales. AirPods watches. are not included in that, right? I believe that's just and watches. AirPod is the only wearable or the sorry, watch is the only wearable thing. Yeah. I think that's so. right. I think I Even though technically you question. are wearing the headphones, I think yeah, that's not yeah, a wearable. Yeah. 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 I think like it's replicating a watch where air f- headphones are just headphones. They're yeah. not something you wear without them doing what they're supposed to. Right. Okay. So yeah, Sorry. apparently this this like holiday quarter is the biggest quarter for the wearables division. Um, in the third quarter of this year, they made a little over $8 billion, but the first quarter of la- of this year, they made almost $14 billion. So that's almost oh, double because of the quarter. holiday quarter. God, so yeah. Dollars, man. Th- this goes a little bit deeper because uh, Apple is countersuing Massimo because they came out with a smartwatch like right after the Apple Watch Series 6 came out that kind of looks like an Apple Watch and, <laughs> uh, and uses all the same sensors. Nice. Um, I don't think it looks enough like an Apple Watch for their... Yeah, it's that one right there. This I one? don't think it looks enough like an Apple Watch for their lawsuit to go through. Uh, it just kind of looks like a general fitness I mean, tracker. Yeah, this honest. looks like every Amazon... It's $600, I guess, because it's by a it's also actual FDA health. approved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like FDA cleared. That so. actually makes way more sense. Speaking but. of FDA approval, this is totally off topic, but <laughs> remember how Google was going to put a temperature sensor for your skin? And they were like, <laughs> the phone. trust me, that'll be later. Just measure pots and pans for now. It's still not there. Yeah. The temperature I, sensor still just does stuff. You know what I need to do? We need to do a long form episode about is like investigating why the temperature sensor exists on the Pixel 8 Pro. <laughs> I have like a, a feeling you're going to reach. Story. <laughs> yeah. It's probably because yeah. somebody thought it was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. And then it started working on it. And they were like, oh, we also in the background got to get FDA approval. And then they started working on that. And then it came up to time to launch the phone. And the FDA was like, oh, oh, you wanted us to work yeah. on that? And then they're still working on it while they have to ship this feature and explain why it's there. I so think someone to... came up with it during COVID and would, was like, oh, this would be great because you can years? check track your. Yeah, but that's. That's Google timing, you know? Really? I mean, oh, I mean that's timing for like a lot of things. A lot of We're, companies. Yeah. yeah, a lot of companies. But Google famously needs to get 20 layers of approval before they can do anything. So Fair. so in 2020, somebody was like, it'll be a good idea. And then in 2023, they were like, it's time to launch. Did you get FDA <laughs> approval? And they were like, oh, no. no. Oh, right. <laughs> it's not here. <laughs> Trust me, it'll be there soon. Yeah. Brutal. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But, I mean, this is actually like probably one of the biggest yeah, it hits is. to Apple in a very long I'm time. I'm super surprised it happened. Yeah. And, man, maybe some of these companies aren't as completely untouchable as we thought. Yeah. Damn.
I'm out of it. I'm fresh out of ideas for clips outro. That should be the that should be the clips outro. Thanks for liking and subscribing. This is the clips outro, Marquez. I'm fresh out of ideas. Well, it's the end of the year, so we got till next year. Yeah, I, I guess. Got till, <laughs> I, got, I got to the last week. I just ran out. We're out. I'm straight out of uh, clips outros. That's true. This is the second to last episode, though. Got 50, 50 weeks in. But we recorded the other one a week early, Shh, so we were still ready. You, they can't know that. Yeah, but Why my not? hair is shorter. That's secret. <laughs> it's secret. We can't, we can't well, pull back the curtain. Haircut. If you came to the clips outro, then you know the secret behind Waveform. Is that we don't prepare clips outros. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you just say some stupid <laughs> shit and make it the clips outro. <laughs> <laughs>